Begin seated. Place your fingertips at your side. Lift from the sacrum and roll the chest open. Let the tops of the thighs descend. We'll just take a moment to center ourselves before we get moving. So rest your hands on your thighs. Turn the palms up. Release the tension in the elbows and the front of the shoulders. Close the eyes. Connect to the breath. Watch the breath travel in through your nose, all the way down into the bottom of the lungs. Feel the bottom lung tissue spread and expand. Allow space for the middle lungs, middle rib cage, top lungs, top rib cage. And when you exhale, allow the air to leave you completely. When the body is ready to inhale, watch the breath move in. So less forcing the breath, more allowing for more space. Allow the rib cage to spread and expand as the lungs open. Allow the ribs to come back in and down. And then in your mind's eye, visualize yourself as being perfectly strong, mobile, and flexible. As weird as that sounds, or as impossible as that sounds, if you're very tight, still the visualization that the muscles will be moving fluid, the tissues, the fascia, everything moving fluid. Then open your eyes. Let's get moving. So we're gonna start off by warming up the shoulders, neck and upper back. So curl your fingers in with your thumbs pointing out, then bring the knuckles up against your temples. As you inhale, open and expand the chest, start to turn the gaze up. And as you exhale, bring the elbows in towards each other. Inhale, open and expand the upper chest. And exhale, draw the elbows in, draw your navel in. So think cat-cow here for your upper back. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Then inhale the elbows wide. Interlace your fingers. Take your right index finger on top. As you inhale, raise the arms, stretch. Exhale, hands back towards your heart. Inhale, the arms up halfway. Exhale, the hands towards your face. Inhale, the arms all the way up. Exhale, the hands towards the crown. Then bring your hands down, change the interlock. Same three-part movement, inhale. Exhale towards the heart. Inhale. Exhale towards your face. Inhale all the way up. And exhale towards the crown. Then take your arms out wide. And let's just externally rotate and internally rotate. Inhale, externally rotate. Exhale, internally rotate. Then inhale, internally, ro externally rotate, and raise the arms all the way up. Exhale, fingertips all the way down, so like snow angel arms. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, arms all the way down. And then raise your right arm all the way up. Crawl your left fingertips over to the side. And as you anchor down through your right hip, reach past your fingertips and visualize wherever it's tight in the right side body from the waist. For me, it's like all about in the side rib and upper armpit chest. You feel across the back of the armpit, big pole, neck. Then bring the hand behind your head, lean your head back into your arms slightly. See if you can bend the right elbow a little bit more. Then come back up and change sides. Take the other arm up, externally rotate, and as you anchor through the hip, reach all the way over. Breathe space into the side ribs, into the side waist. Then 
Then bend the elbow, hand goes behind your head, lean your head back into your hand a bit to help open up the armpit. So feel all those tight muscles in the back of the armpit, breathe more space into there. Maybe lean a little bit deeper as you anchor through your side hip. Then come back up. With your fingertips out to your side, grow tall up through the spine, then drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Pretend like you're listening towards your shoulder, opening the ear towards the shoulder. And then lengthen through the left side neck down through the left fingertips. Maybe even crawl the left fingertips a little further away. Bring your head back up and drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Maybe crawl the right fingertips a little further. Then bring your head back to center. Change the cross of your legs. Cross your right arm towards your left knee and grab with your left hand your wrist. Then drop your right side cheek towards your right chest. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's the other way around. <laughs> Grab with your, uh, with your right hand, take your left wrist, and then drop your chin towards your chest. Then head back up and change sides. Then head back up. All right, let's come onto the hands and the knees. And step your right foot all the way up to your right thumb. Okay, so not the longest stance that you could do in this one, like uh, on the nighttime yoga, went for like a really long stance. But let's do a shorter stance. I have this really thick mat, so my knee is cushioned nicely. But if your mat is thinner, then I'd recommend putting a blanket underneath your back knee here. All right, so as I inhale, I'm going to bring the hips towards the front heel and open the chest. And then as I exhale, I bring the hips back and I stretch down through the inner foot as I pull the hip back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Then inhale, curl the back toes and lift the back knee up. From here, I'm gonna bring the hand to the inside of the foot, wiggle the foot over to the side a little bit so I have more space for the hands, up on the fingertips. And as I stretch through the back inner leg down into the inner foot, the right hip crease goes back and I lengthen the sides of the trunk. Then put your left hand down, right in line with your left ankle. And keeping your right hip in, open yourself up. Then bring the right hand back down. Step your back foot an inch closer. Wiggle your right foot back into the midline. And as you stretch down into the right foot evenly, lift from the outer leg up into the outer hip. Wheel the chest forward, make a flat back. And then exhale, navel to spine, lengthen all the way out over your leg. Then re-bend your knee, lower the back knee, and let's change sides. Bring your hands down. <clears throat> it's a little shorter stance. Inhale, hips towards heel, stretch the chest forward. And exhale, hips come back, stretch into the inner foot as you pull back through your hips. Inhale. And exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Curl the back toes, lift the back knee up. Then hands go to the inside of the foot. And as you stretch through the back inner leg, down into the inner foot, let the left hip crease go back. Lengthen through the sides of the trunk, elongate the front of the spine. Then plant your right hand flat, line it up with your back ankle, keeping your left hip in, turn your chest, and take your arm up. So just notice where you're holding tension in the shape that you don't need to hold. Where are you straining or overdoing? And then where could you help the energy to flow better? Where you're being slack or lazy or tamasic, send the energy better through those points to open up the body without straining. Bring the hand back down, lower your back knee down. And bring the knees down, place the hands underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. And as you inhale, take the spine into a back bend, Wheel the chest forward and exhale, round out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Then inhale into neutral, big toes together. Take the knees just wide enough so that the side ribs can fit in between. Stretch back onto the heels. And then as the hips anchor back to the heels, elongate through the sides of the trunk. Let the head drop. If the head doesn't touch the floor, you could put a blanket or a block underneath. Five breaths here in child. Then inhale, come back up onto the hands and the knees. And we're gonna do down dog one time. But when you do it, you should keep the same distance. However, whatever the distance was, how far your hands were away, you maintain that distance. Don't bring the hands or the knees any closer towards each other. For this down dog, to help the external rotation of the arms, I'm taking my hands a little wider and I'm turning my hands out slightly. Then I root into the middle three knuckles, spread the chest, Draw the navel in, curl the toes under, and lift the hips way up towards the ceiling. I keep the lift through the hips and the pressure through the middle three knuckles, and then I start to take the thigh bones back towards the wall behind me. The head drops. Keep the lift of the hips, the upper chest open, the navel in, and then I see, can I take my thighs even further back? Just five breaths here. Then walk the hands and the feet together and fold forward. Okay, so at this point, if you realize that you, that I forgot to stretch on the left side leg and you already did it, then you'll have to fast forward the video a little bit. If you didn't realize that, then we're gonna do it together. Step the left foot, step the right foot back. So now stretch down into the left inner foot, pull the left hip crease back, up onto your fingertips, elongate, and draw the navel up towards the heart as you lengthen the front of the spine. Then as you exhale, start to walk the hands and breathe. 
forehead towards the ankle. All right, then step the feet back together. Take your feet hip distance apart, little bend in your knees, let your head hang. Then bend the knees, put the hands down, cross your legs behind you, and sit back. All right, now we're gonna practice the preparation for Janu Shirshasan. So sit with your legs stretched out, plant your hands to your side, sit up straight and tall. Bend your left knee back, like in tree pose, and bring the heel close towards your pubic bone. Sit up straight and tall, and stretch your legs. If the spine feels upright and it feels like the legs release easily, then you're gonna tip yourself forward in between your legs halfway. If that movement goes nicely, then you're gonna bring your left hand around towards your ankle. If the thighs are releasing nicely and the spine feels like it's releasing, you can move further, then you can start to reach for the foot and bring your head towards your foot. Inhale, come back up. Reconnect your breath, open up. Then let's change sides. Bend your right knee back. Bring your heel towards your pubic bone. Sit up straight and tall. Let the thighs release. So if you feel like you can breathe easily, you can go upright through the spine, release the legs easily, then you can angle yourself forward halfway. See, can I still release my thighs? Do I feel a tight spot? Can I let that release? If that's going nicely, then you'll reach with your right hand toward your ankle. Keep releasing the thighs. And then if you feel the release again, reach all the way for your foot and bring your head towards your foot. Inhale, come back up. Stretch your leg back out, sit up straight and tall, raise both arms up overhead, and reach out for your feet. And inhale, come back up. <clears throat> Lie down onto your back. Bring your right knee into your chest. Reach down to the inside of the right knee, take the big toe, half happy baby. Stretch your left leg out along the floor. Then release that foot, set the right foot down, bring your left knee in, take your left big toe, half happy baby. Stretch the right leg out, roll through the top thigh, 
Stretch down out of the lower back and towards the foot. Let the left thigh bone drop down and in. Then release your foot. Open your elbows out to the side. Take your feet the width of the mat. Bring your right knee over towards your left big toe. Take the left knee out to the side. And stretch through the right inner leg down into the knee. <clears throat> Stay here in this stretch. If you're already feeling a lot of sensation or you feel like you can't breathe steady, just work on breathing steady here. Otherwise, you can take your left ankle and cross it on the outside of the right knee and stretch from the outer thigh, inner thigh, down into the knee. Breathe length into the spine, especially where the spine changes direct or changes curves. Those hinge points, let yourself lengthen through those hinge points instead of sinking into them. And bring your legs back up to center. Take the feet the width of the mat again. Let the left knee go over towards the right big toe. Stay there or cross the right ankle on the outside of the left knee. And reconnect to your steady breath. Visualize as you breathe, nice, smooth, even breaths like we practiced at the beginning. They can feel the muscles and the tissues like they're moving fluidly. And bring your legs back to center. All right. So we're going to finish this practice with a supported inversion. For this inversion, I like to use a bolster underneath my hips. However, if you don't have a bolster at home, then you could practice with two yoga blankets underneath your hips, low back. If you don't have two yoga blankets, I just used towels before I bought any type of blankets. So. Whatever props that you have, you can use. All right, so I'm going to take myself with my hips about a foot away from the wall and then lie down. All right, that looks good. Then I lift the hips up and I slide the bolster underneath my sacrum low back. The legs go up the wall. My arms go into cactus position. <sighs> Feels so good. Just let the buttocks drop down into the bolster. Let the chest spread open. And let the legs relax. So I'm in this nice little corner which is pushing my feet together. If your legs want to turn out and fall open, you could put a strap around your thighs so that they don't, or you could find this corner that I found. You want to be far enough away from the wall that the thigh bones drop down and away from you. So the goal isn't to see how close you can get yourself to the wall. We already did a deep forward fold to stretch the hamstrings. 
It's more to just let the legs release and feel the benefits of this inversion. So for Shavasana today, I'm just going to stay in this inversion. If you feel uncomfortable staying in this inversion and you'd rather lay flat, then you could just move flat after a minute or so and lay flat. But we're going to spend a few minutes here with the legs up. Then gently bend your knees. <clears throat> Lift your buttock and slide the bolster out from underneath you or the blankets, whatever you're using. <clears throat> With your knees bent, just let your lower back release onto the floor for a moment. Then roll over to your side and press yourself up to seated. Sit up tall on your lift for a moment. With your legs crossed, just like we started, rest your hands on your thighs with your palms facing up. Close your eyes. So just take a moment to notice how the body feels. Watch your breath. Notice the experience of the breath. And also observe your current mental state. So just notice how you feel after your practice. Notice the shift that comes just after 20 minutes or so of practice. All right, so take this energy out through your day now. Join your palms together. Lower your head to your heart. Lift the head and open the eyes. Thank you.